The inductive attenuator demonstrates the Laplacian nature of magnetic fields in free space, the way that currents distribute themselves on the surfaces of perfect conductors, and the use of the vector potential in describing magnetic fields in two-dimensional systems. In this model, the floor is the xy plane. The altitude of the surface is the vector potential. Here's the direction of periodicity. Here's the direction of decay. Because it represents a solution to Laplace's equation, every point on the surface having a positive curvature in the y direction must have a negative curvature in the x direction. This is why periodicity in one direction implies decay in the other. For this solution to Laplace's equation, three of the rectangular boundaries have a constant vector potential. The fourth is a sinusoid. In our physical situation, this fourth boundary is elevated to a uniform vector potential. This can be represented by a superposition of these solutions. In our model, lines of constant altitude are lines of constant vector potential. In two dimensions, lines of constant A sub Z are lines of magnetic flux density. So the wires are the lines of magnetic flux density. This is the actual apparatus. Here are the sidewalls insulated from each other. Here's the top plate. Current from this source passes forward through the upper plate and is returned by the shorts through the sidewalls. Here are the connections at the back end. The source is connected by the center conductor of a coaxial cable to the upper electrode, here. The driving current is returned to the source by these wires and the coax shield conductor. These leads are connected to the top trace of our scope. The top trace is the driving voltage. Here at the back, the bottom plate is shorted to the side walls. It is also shorted at the front through these wires. We measure the current induced in this electrode by means of this current probe. The lower trace on the scope represents the output current from the probe. It represents the net current induced in the lower electrode. Here's how the current induced in the lower electrode varies as the driving electrode is lowered. As the spacing is increased, again with the driving voltage essentially held fixed, the induced current decreases. As the driving electrode approaches the lower electrode, it increases again. With the electrodes this close, almost all of the current in the upper electrode is imaged in the lower electrode. As the distance between electrodes increases, the fraction of the current that returns in the lower electrode is reduced. The inductive attenuator has illustrated the Laplacian nature of free space magneto quasi static fields. The magnetic field induced by applying a voltage to the upper electrode decays essentially exponentially into the rectangular region, bounded by the essentially perfectly conducting sidewalls and the bottom electrode. 